Live from Boston, Massachusetts. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering HP Big Data Conference 2015. Brought to you by HP Software. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in Boston, Massachusetts for HP's Big Data Conference, HP Big Data 2015. Go to crowdchat.net slash HP Big Data 2015. That's the hashtag. Join the conversation, be on the record. Go to wikibon.com for all the latest research from our team. And of course, siliconangle.com for all the latest news and analysis. I'm John Furrier, my host Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. And again, live here in Boston, we're here with Kai Nee, technology consultant from TELUS. Great to have you on theCUBE. Uh, get Thank your you expertise and insight. Well, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about what you do at, at, at TELUS, obviously Telco, um, you have some history with uh, autonomy. Mm -hmm. um, what's your, before we get into the company, what are you excited about these days? What's some of the technologies in big data that you've been working with and you're excited about? I think um, big data is, is huge for, um, to support our corporate uh, strategy, especially our, uh, at TELUS, we're focusing on customer services and we want to have our, you know, the best customer uh, experience uh, in in Canada, uh, at, you know, with with all the um, in the telecom industry. So that's that's why I think big data and the big data analytics is going to help our company to succeed. Um, in Certainly, back when Twitter started, when before it became mainstream, I used to tweet at Comcast Cares, and I knew the person doing it, so I'd get great service. Yeah, they just say, "Hurry, you're tweeted," and then I have the truck roll up. Yeah, but that's the, that's the kind of thing that you're shooting for, right? Yeah. The yeah. feeling of personal mm -hmm. service. How do you achieve that? Where are you guys at in this journey? Where are you on the spectrum? So I think you know this is a, um, I guess two parts, right? And one is really from the customer perspective, and the other is really improve the process from um, the company internally. Uh, improve the call center efficiency and also improve the, the process that we actually uh, bring to the to the call center agency. Uh, how to actually improve the, uh, the let's say the queue, um, like reduce the queue time when customers are waiting on phone and also um, let's say reduce the um, uh, waiting uh, um, is processing it time. phone or is it online, phone? Um, we have Both our, you know, we, currently we're focusing on the call center um, um, agency to basically to provide the best customer service to whoever's calling in to our customer service our call center. So you're trying to give them a, a picture of the, the, the customer, what services mm -hmm. they're purchasing, yeah. and like you said, cut that time that they're yeah, on the phone. Yeah, for example, you know, we used to have this, you know, we, we have idle server in-house and we, we didn't actually use apply idle server with uh, um, with 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 the call center. So let's, let's put it this way. Um, so we used to have this service address search, right? It's it's form based. You have to put in the house number, street na street name, um, postcode in Canada, and also you know uh, city, then province, and then you click on search. So you'd be on the phone with the customer, exactly. Asking so, them about all these questions. Exactly. So <laughs> you know you you. Fingers crossed, you know, you find the right um, uh, address, and if it doesn't find the correct address, you come back saying, "Hey, can you actually, you know, um, see the address again?" Kind of yeah. thing, right? So we thought, you know, this is kind of. Or did you recently move? Right? Yeah, <laughs> this, this is kind of, you know, too slow for Not the customer, a great customer, right? Experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what we did was, you know, I, I sit down with uh, one of the agents. We, you know, I tell us we have this C2C close to customer event. So our as a consultant, I get the chance to sit with the a call center agent, sit with them just to watch what they do, and then I find out that kind of inefficient way of doing search. So we basically apply IDLE uh, using a really a type ahead search, right? While the agent typing, list of addresses showing up, they can just pick whatever uh, address is, is actually, you know, um, um, you know, uh, told to uh, from the customer, and then they can exact they can find exact address without actually filling the form, click on search kind of thing. So it's much, much quicker. So when you talk to telcos, they generally, when they talk about their analytics mm. strategy, they, two broad vectors. I know mm. there's much more granularity, but the high level they say, either they're trying to make more personalized offers or they're trying to improve customer mm. service. It sounds like your vast majority of focus is on the customer service. Service, exactly. So, yeah. so wh wh 
why is that? I mean, is, is it perceived that that's going to drive ultimately more value for your organization yeah. versus sort of spamming people with personalized offers? What's your right? There? So um, for us, because um, the technology in the in the telecom industry is, you know, has it has been mature, more mature now. You know, before uh, our one of our competitor has some some sort of edge uh, over the network, but now you know because um, Telus and Bell had alliance, basically we have the network uh, technology or you know pretty much on the even ground now. So um, our company thought you know customer service, uh, customer satisfaction is more important to yeah. uh, yes. to our uh, to bring the value uh, to our company and also. Um, and we want to take it as a really uh, competitive advantage of our company. So yeah, analytics, analytics have been pretty complicated, mm -hmm. um, still are, and very customized. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see that changing? You know, I don't know if you saw the keynotes this morning, mm -hmm. but Colin talked about ERP, yeah. how ERP used to be highly customized mm -hmm. and then it became packaged. Mm -hmm. Do you see analytics following a similar path where you have at least templates that are very specific to your industry, mm -hmm. that are more built within the applications, mm -hmm. or do you see it remaining a highly customized business? Um, I think um, I think both. Uh, one is it definitely has to be industry specific because um, every every uh, industry has their own uh, specific needs. Uh, second thing is really um, it needs to be more customizable to to the business users. Um, as a technology, um, because uh, every business department have their own needs, and without um, them em empowering them to do uh, the work, you know, they all they, they have, you know, I guess we have to do. We just have to enable them to do the the um, an, uh, analytics and uh, also some reporting, data analysis, and all that stuff. So. So today, how does it work? You, you you have a data science team that sort of filters things, and you're trying to make it more uh, consumable by the business user. How do you do that? Um, right now, uh, I think we do have uh, teams actually looking into the data. Um, you know, we are not a Vertica customer yet, but um, we do have a, a BI team uh, to basically looking into those um, uh, those data to to see what. Uh, they can actually forecast uh, using uh, statistical models and uh, different things. And you use right. IDLE um, primarily in your analytics, or do you also use it sort of a governance, knowledge management? Is it a broader initiative within so the So IDLE is primarily used as a search tool right now at, at, uh, at Talos. However, though, we want to expand IDLE's uh, um, capability to other um, spectrum at Talos. And also, I want, you know, the reason why I'm at this uh, conference is because I want to learn more about Vertica and to see what we can actually uh, do with Vertica at Talos and uh, hopefully we can um, have some sort of a POC or uh, project going at, at Talos as well. What, what, why? What's the impetus for that? What's the problem you're trying to solve? I think uh, I talked to a couple of DBAs uh, when I was at Talos and the, the problem was, was current data uh, and the next tools or BI tools is that when one thing is it's 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 a little bit too expensive and sometimes it's um, and the, the reporting is, is kind of slow. All right, let's put it this way: the performance side. All right, so we want you know I've been talking to different customers um, during the conference, and uh, you know what I heard about Vertica is just great because the perform you know performance hands down is best. Yeah, that's what I heard, so I... Yeah. Okay, so give us a summary in your take. Of, mm. If you had to ask the type of people that are at this event, what would you say? I'm sorry. The, the kind of people that are attending the event. Yeah. Customers, engineers, DevOps, developers. Uh -huh. um, how would you rate the kind of audience here? Um, I think... Mostly developers, engineers, or business people? Um, I think, you know, we, we got, you know, Every, yeah, I kind of mixed uh, yeah. uh, groups here. Um, you know, some people want the, the the roadmap of the technology. Some people really want, you know, really a technical uh, detail of, uh, of of certain uh, uh, software applications. Yeah. 
a lot of people we talk to are very geeky. They want to know. Yeah. They want to know what the engines are and how to configure ingest, the stuff. Yeah. You know, new stuff. The sequel on Hadoop's been big, yeah. so yeah. it's been very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, any surprises that you've learned here at the show or that you want to share? I I really uh, you know I, I kind of surprised that you know how many people actually turn out you know in in this conference and uh, and and you know it's. It's been so far. It's been good. This is our uh, third year. We love it. We think it's the best yeah. conference. It's, out it's there. first year for me. So well, I, it's and good and content, I love it so right? I mean, yeah. it's not a lot of uh, marketing hype. Exactly. In fact, exactly. the keynote speaker this morning told a bunch of book BS. <laughs> in the marketing hype. Don't believe the hype. Apologetic. <laughs> and Colin <laughs> actually didn't stop him. <laughs> yes, uh, so I really That's liked right. it. I think yeah. Colin was very much happy yeah. right up the yeah. stage. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks so much for sharing your insight on the cube. Uh, appreciate your time. Looking forward to chatting with you again soon. Thanks for your your data. This is the Cube. We'll be right back with more Soon from the Noise after this short break. Live in Boston, Massachusetts. This is a special broadcast of the Cube at HP Big Data's 2015 conference. We'll be right back.